welcome back youtube people in today's session what we'll do is uh, generally what we do we have a custom entities or dto's in our project and we'll serialize them in uh, json format and one line of code uh, you can check out the site json.coplace.com the guy have made the json dll and you can view the features and everything and it's supposed to dot net all the versions almost and you can download this JSON. When you download, you'll get something like this. Okay, in the bin folder, you can have the DL whichever you require. Right now, we're using 3.5, so I'll be using these one DLs. Okay, so as you can check out my project, as you can see, I have a Newton soft reference in my project, and what our plan is, I have a class which is employee. Okay, in which I'm doing nothing very much special. All I have is first name, last name, and their expertise. A bunch of friend of mine. I have <coughs> taken an example. They have some sort of expertise. So what I'll do is I'll fill this guy an employees class in here. Okay, and then we'll serialize and we'll get the JSON output. So let's see how we do that. Right. So what I did is like you know employees equal to new employee. This is a traditional shit we do all the time. I just fill properties, first name is Jigsaw, last name is 82 and the expert level of that guy is like to kill all the people you find around. <coughs> okay, the next thing our job is to serialize this whole employee object, whatever we have filled. So what I'll do is, I'll simply use JSON convert dot serialize object and now this guy requires an object. Hopefully you can see it requires an object. Doesn't matter what type of object you pass, you just pass the object and it serializes for you. <coughs> So as you can see, I have employee object fill, which I'm passing right here. Once I pass this employee object over here, it will serialize the whole thing. And as you can see, I'm getting some serialized output in the JSON string. I'm simply writing out. Okay, so let's run. So all of a sudden, you can see we have a perfect JSON serialization done. I mean, the employee object, whatever we have fill, first name, last name, got dumped in the JSON format right outside onto our browser, right? Now let's talk about deserialization. This is what we got a serialized string, right? Now example, as you know, sometimes uh, you uh, you come across some services or service API, they give you a JSON back, right? So if they give you a JSON back, there should be a way, you know, that you get that JSON back and fill into your object, the custom object. Right now we have an employee object, right? And we serialize that thing into a JSON string, right? So what we'll do is first deserialize. I'll uncomment this line one second. I'll uncomment this guy, and as you can see, I'll open this guy. So now, as you can see, I have uh, this JSON convert the deserialize in which I have to specify what type of object I I I, I would like to deserialize. So it's an EMP object, right? Then I have to spell. I mean, put down the string whichever I have just received here on serialization. This is just an example, right? So let's see. Once I get that an employee object, I simply do is uh, printing, right? And printing, I print simply uh, employee properties. Right now we have jigsaw. Okay, so let's run one more time. This time we should get a correct object with the correct values. So as you can see, this is not a JSON format, this is my format. What actually it did is, first it serialized the whole object, then I got the string, serialized string back, and that serialized string I passed here. And once I pass it here, it gives me an object, right? If I hover on var, you can see I got a JSON in action dot EMP. That's my returning object in which the values get filled and after that what I simply do is I just loop or I'm, I'm not looping I'm sorry employee object I try to access the properties and I try to see what are the values inside which you already saw right so this is a serialization deserialization now the benefit you get is the like example I have a list of employees okay again they have their first name last name they have expertise whatever they do right so what I'll do is I'll get this guy copy and I'll remove I comment this guy and I'll say sorry and I'll say EMP EMP is equal to 
get all EMP right so this guy will get me all the EMP I think I have done something wrong what did I do wrong do okay sorry this is supposed to be a list I am really sorry and hopefully now it takes it correctly so what I'll do is I'll I have the list of all employees in my hand I'll simply pass it over here now this list get populated I'll pass this list to the serialize object and you can see the difference I'm going to deserialize I'm going to lock it down I'm going to unlock the right part okay so as you can see uh, first fill the list second get the serialize and print the string right so let's run once again So as you can see, uh, all the guys came in a JSON format in a very expected way, alright? So this is good. Now, let's do the reverse which we did earlier. Oh man, yeah, annoying sound. So in case of deserialization, what we'll do is, I'll say I, I'm not expecting one employee, I'm expecting a list. So all I gotta do is I have to change this and once this is done and if I come here and if I check now I see the I get the list. Okay. The employees I mean uh the the D C R is that smart enough to understand. And what I have over here is a grid view. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll simply bind the collection to this grid view. And how will we do that? Grid one dot data bind first of all. I mean it should be data source grid one uh, grid one dot data source and that guy would be EMP object which is nothing but a list hopefully it should work okay so what we are doing is we are getting the employees we are serializing it we are passing the serializing string to our deserialize method and we are assuming that we'll get the list back from this deserialization right now with the example I, I'm supplying the string from my end in case of any any, or any projects if it comes out like you get the JSON string from service or anywhere else so this this should be the way one line of code and you're all done so I'm expecting like now my grid gets populated automatically so let's run and as you can see the grid view has filled everything as expected so I hope you got the idea what exactly this uh, Newton soft uh, DL works. It helps you serialize your objects into the JSON format and it also gives you back your deserialize, I mean it helps you deserialize with your custom objects. It doesn't matter the list, it is a list or it is just a normal object. I mean it has a capability, you know, you can have your custom, I mean complex objects, you know, object within an object. It will do the serialization and deserialization for you automatically. You don't have to worry about anything. Alright. Hope you like this video. Thank you very much.